What's up guys, Colin from Deco Network. Our own Chris Cruz is here to give you an in-depth look at one of our new prominent features in our recent Deco Network update 8.510 that will make your life as a business owner that much easier. Here's Chris to show you what that is. Hey guys, Chris here at Deco Network. And in this quick walkthrough video, we'll be taking a look at a new feature in the newly released update of Deco Network, which allows you to assign new registrants for a website as either account holders or contacts with an existing company account. Before we take a look at the website settings, let's jump over into Business Hub, click into our companies section, and we'll go ahead and create a new company record. Once you've created your company account, you can go ahead and click into account details, enable them as an account holder, set their default terms, and assign a maximum outstanding balance allowed for their online orders. For this corporate client will go ahead and set 10,000 as their allowed online balance. And we're ready to switch over into the website section now. We're going to click into Websites, Manage the Store for our corporate client, and click into Administration. You'll find the new option here at the bottom labeled Customer Registration. Initially, you may see this message that in order to use this functionality, the website must be set up as password protected with a generic password. The idea there being uh, you don't necessarily want anyone just running across, into, uh, across this website through a web search and submitting orders because of the fact that you're gonna be allowing orders without any upfront payment. Okay, so we'll click this shortcut here to jump into the customer options page. In this case, we'll need to override the default settings and then enable the option to um, so that customers must be logged in to view the website. And we'll go ahead and go with the generic password option. Uh, if you leave that blank, the system will go ahead and generate one. For now, we'll type in our own test password there. Okay, now we can go back into the customer registration section and we'll see the new options available here. So default is how stores have always worked. Each customer is a separate customer record with, uh, without account terms assigned. The first new option is to go ahead and assign those newly created customer records that are being created, some default terms, and a default maximum outstanding balance allowed for their online orders. Uh, the alternate new option is to go ahead and assign new registrants as contacts of an existing company account. And you'll see a drop down there to choose from the available company accounts. Okay, so we'll go ahead and select the one we created earlier and save the change. Okay, we should be able to switch over into the website now. Uh, in this case, we'll see the password prompt. We'll go ahead and enter our generic password and that'll allow us to go into the website. From there, we can click into the product section, add an item to the shopping cart and proceed through the checkout process. Okay, for a company account, we'll see some limited billing fields here. Most of the address fields are inherited from the company account. Okay, we can proceed to the shipping step. Uh, as usual within Deco Network, when the customer's going through the checkout process, an account is being created for them. And in this case, with the new functionality, that new account is a contact within the company that uh, we went ahead and selected in the settings. So once we proceed to the payment step, we'll see that uh, even though this is a new customer account, they do have the option to submit their order on account terms with the account terms that the company has assigned, in this case, Net30. Uh, you'll notice that by default, we also have the options to still use a payment option. Uh, so in conjunction with uh, this new setting, we did also add an option to only allow orders to be submitted on account terms. For that, you'll click into store configuration and then choose checkout options. You'll find the new option here. Customers can only submit orders on account terms. 
So let's enable that. Switch back to our website and refresh the payment page. Uh, now you'll see um, that option to submit on account terms is enabled by default and I can't turn it off so we're only allowing them to submit orders on account terms. Uh, the exception there would be if their account terms require some sort of deposit then uh, they'll have the option to pay for that deposit. Okay so from this point we can go ahead and submit the order. No upfront payment it's gonna be assigned as an order within that company. And if we switch over into the Business Hub and reload that company account, you'll see the outstanding balance for that order is showing here. We can click into the Orders section and view it from there as well. All right, this should be useful for your corporate clients as well as any schools or other types of organizations where you're going to have users submitting orders that they're, they won't be paying for, but rather the organization uh, will be the one uh, getting billed. We hope you found that video helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below in the comment section or reach out to a Deco Network team member directly.